Bobby, hi. I was hoping you were here. Oh, yeah, but not for long. I'm on a break and I gotta get back to the hospital. Okay, before you go, I just, um, I wanted to know if I could maybe run a room. Here? I thought you were happily ensconced with Jason. Not anymore, no. Oh, well, sorry, but I don't think I can help you. Okay, then if it's not too much trouble, maybe you could put me on a waiting list or something. Look, Sam, I'm not saying that I don't have a vacancy, but... I don't think Carly would be very happy if I rented a room to you. Trust me, I think Carly would do a dance of joy if she knew I wasn't living across the hall from her anymore. Well, somehow I think Carly would be a lot happier if you moved a lot farther away than Kelly's. I am so sorry. If I would have given it a second thought, I would have probably known your answer. It's not my intention to put you in the middle of anything. I'm lucky enough that you let me even eat here. I'm not going to push my luck. Thank you for understanding my position. thought you might come here. Apparently, being pregnant with Sonny's child disqualifies me as a tenant. Where are you going to go? I haven't really thought about that. Not my note. I, I really do appreciate what you're trying to do. But do not leave or stay because of me. Sam, you have a tough decision to make. And you need to forget about everything else that has happened on basic what's best for you and the baby. Period. If you think it's better for you and the baby to move on, you're not going to have to depend on Sonny's money. I'm going to give you whatever you need. But if you decide to go the other way and, you know, you want to keep peace with Sonny by signing the paper, I'm not going to try to talk you out of it, Sam. Jason, the last thing I want to do is sign Sonny's paper, but if I refuse, he's going to blame you. Look, I already told you not to worry about oh, it. Oh, I'm sorry. But I can't help it. Sonny can be lethal. And nothing puts fire in his eyes more than battling over one of his children. He he might even put you in a dangerous situation. And if you got hurt or, God forbid, killed, I would never be able to forgive myself. And I don't think Sonny would be able to forgive himself either. He can't he can see past his own paranoia right now. And he's being arbitrary and mean, probably over the guilt of getting me pregnant in the first place. But that is about me. It has nothing to do with you. I'm loyal to Sonny. But that does not mean that I can't see what he's wrong, Sam. And right now, he's not being fair to you. And I'd like to be. Okay, so whatever you need for this baby, just to, just to have this baby in peace, I want to give it to you. Even, you know, if that means me keeping my distance. Is that what you want? It's true. I was leaving because of you, because I don't want to be the reason you lose anything, Sam, Jason. I can take care of myself. And I can take care of you. And the baby. If that's what you want. <laughs> I want to go back to your apartment and I want to bore you <sighs> with all my baby books and, and DVDs and stuff. <sighs> Look, I know you've done like everything for me and if you don't mind. What? I'm starving. I don't have any money. Would you buy me something to eat, please? I know. You know, I'm going to take your bag to the car and I'm going to let you order yourself something. <laughs> Thank you.
Okay, I, I, it's the stupid bet with Jax. I'm. I... It's, a, it's, a, it's a bet. Sam, let's let's go. I will take my bags upstairs. Yeah, I'll do it. Just uh, just decide what you want for dinner, all right? First, first, I want to talk to you because I'm worried about you. Why? You've got to be hurting. Courtney used you. Uh, Sam, it's done. You know, I used to be a lot like you. I never wanted to talk about anything uncomfortable. I figured, what's the point? Mm -hmm. and then you understand? No, I was wrong. When you have someone who cares, someone who, who wants to help, normally... You open up. Mm -hmm. Jason, punch the wall. Yell at Sam. me. Do something. I would have hated it if Sonny treated me that way. It is completely disrespectful. Sam, just, just leave it alone. You have to deal with this. <sighs> Courtney was the last person you let into your life, and she betrayed that trust today. <sighs> Fine. I'm going to have this conversation with myself, but I'm not pretending not to see that you are hurting. What? It is too hard to bottle up your feelings. It eats away at you. I know. I used to do it all the time. I had to protect myself. I had to protect my brother. But my life, it... It's better now that I let go. <laughs> you're just... you're just gonna ignore me. No, just you know, like I'm that. actually kind of hungry. So maybe oh, okay. I'm gonna take that as a yes. You're gonna ignore what just happened. What? You're gonna ignore Sam. the fact that I'm trying to help you're you. Not you're not helping gonna me by talking so much all the time. Because you won't let well, me. Because I don't need help. Courtney and I are over. Okay, so you're saying that you don't care that she probably kissed you to make Jack jealous. <laughs>